Actually, thanks to CDTI and Spanish Pavilion and all the Spanish institutions. I'm sorry. Yeah. And all the Spanish institutions that are here uh, today. Uh, my name is Jose Miguel. I'm the CEO of Yeah, with Okay. Now it's better. So yeah, my name is Jose Miguel Bermudez, um, I'm the CEO of Hound for Blue, and as you can see here, we are working on the carbon decarbonizing maritime transport uh, industry. Uh, we are a climate tech startup, and as you can read here, uh, our, we are delivering fully automated uh, wind system propulsion systems to reduce both the fuel consumption and the level of carbon emissions of the maritime transport industry with this specially designed uh, rigid scale system that you can see. Just to give you some general uh, information about uh, about uh, our company, apart from several uh, relevant private investors, we have support from the European Investment Fund, from the European Commission, also support from CDTI, Visa, and other institutions of the Spanish government. Uh, I'm very proud of, of having a highly awarded team, you can see here. And just to give you some insight about our company, we have a fully protected technology with several platforms around the world, a validated solution, and we already acquired the first page customers, which is absolutely worth it for us, uh, taking into account the, the industry where we, are, uh, where we are working. So, going now to the main problem, uh, the shipping industry is nowadays facing a double challenge. The first one is the huge fuel consumption they have, which can reach tons of fuel per hour. Of fuel per hour and can reach easily values between 30 and 6 percent of the total operating expenses of a ship operator, which is a very relevant number. And the second challenge that they are facing is the appearance of a tighter environmental legislation and pollution issues that is forcing the ship owners, the ship operators, to use less polluter but much more expensive tools. This is a huge problem for them. And this is a solution that we are launching into the market, as simple as that, bringing sailing back to shipping. Uh, and that's exactly, probably, the same thing that we have been doing for the last, I don't know, 3,000 or 4,000 years, probably. So it's very simple. And how we do it, how it works. The main idea is that with uh, the system that we have designed with these cells, uh, we are uh, delivering a part of the propelling force that we need. For example, if you have a vessel that has to go at 12 knots, we are, uh, and if we deliver 20% of the propelling force that we need to go at 12 knots, that means that we are reducing the 20% uh, by 20% the fuel consumption, and proportionally also reducing by 20% the pollution emissions that the ship is delivering to our atmosphere. So at the end of the day, it's very simple, it's a safe. A little bit particular, uh, this is our technology, but we call it cell. It's based on the suction cell concept, and here you can see the first unit that we delivered for our customers. This case is a 12 meter unit that was retrofitted in a fishing vessel in, in Panama uh, during the last summer, and it has been operating since, since then. And just to give you also some information about the market, uh, the shipping industry is a key industry for all our economies because uh, it's responsible of transporting around 80% of the worldwide cargo and it's in constantly growing. So it's a, it's a key industry for, for uh, practically for all of our economies in the world. And we are mainly focusing on the segments that you can see here. Number one, tankers. Number two, bull carvers. Number three, robot vessels. And number four, passenger vessels. Very risk increases. And these segments represent between 75 and 80% of the existing food. Probably we can add here also the fishing the fishing industry. And this is giving us a multi, as you can imagine, a multi-billion market. And probably I think that we are uh, working, as you can imagine, in one of the most global and international industries. Uh, that we have. And how we do it? First, number one, uh, with a world-class uh, team. We are today 23 people in the team. And as you can see, we have a multidisciplinary team with people from Spain, from France, from Morocco, from Italy, or from the United States. We are mainly based uh, Spain nowadays. Number two, uh, what about our commercial strategy? So we are building our strategy, our growth, growth success, successful uh, consortiums and pilot projects with top level international players, thinking about ship owners and our customers, ship owners, but also thinking about uh, our supply chain and our strategic partners, as you can see, as you can see here. And our market penetration strategy is mainly based, mainly based on delivering projects of delivering at least one or two installations for every single segment that is interesting for us from the market point of view. So you can 
see here, fishing, fishing vessels, yellow cargo, propulsion ferries, tankers, and boats. Yeah, this is the first one. So the first one is already done uh, for the fishing industry. This is the first unit, the 12th unit that we retrofitted in Panama uh, seven months ago. This is the second one, uh, the second one uh, that we retrofitted just a couple of months ago in Santander, in Spain. And here you can see that this system is even foldable. It's suitable to the ship deck. Uh, and now the next step is to uh, it's to sign at least, and probably it, I think that these agreements will be signed in less than a month or a month and a half to cover the remaining segments, the three segments that you can see here. In this case, we do uh, European cloud leading uh, ship owners, and probably the Booker phase uh, will be done with uh, Japanese, uh, with a very relevant Japanese ship owner. So we are very, very close to signing these agreements, and I think that. This industry, it's probably a traditional industry, a conservative industry, but at the same time it has a huge scalability. Because usually the ship owners, they don't have only one, two or three vessels in, the, in their fleet. Usually they have tens of, of vessels or even hundreds of vessels in the fleet. And this is very important for us because it's offering a huge scalability for a company like One for Blue just with one single customer. And why now? So the first point, if you remember the previous slide, is because of the two main challenges that they have, mutual consumption and the appearance of a tighter environmental legislation, pollution issues, but also because the market is responding. And I think that this picture uh, is, is very clear. So the maritime startup sector keeps expanding exponentially. Here you can see the, the m and activity from 2015 to 2020 in the maritime startup sector, which is quite relevant. So just to... to, to to give you some information about the next steps you can see here, we started with the R&D, prototyping, sea trials, and now we are scaling up our technology and why we are here today. So the main point is that we will need additional funding for our growth uh, phase to scale up the technology. Until now we have raised around 10 million euros uh, of private and public funding. And the next round uh, that we will launch probably in the next three or four months is a funding round of 18 million. Uh, and of the point here is that around 60% is already covered. Very good. And the next step is probably why we are here today. And we are here today because our commercial strategy for the near future, we will be focused mainly on three regions in the world. Number one is Europe. And of course, as you can imagine, we are based on, on Spain. The other one is the Asia Pacific region, which is very relevant from the, from the naval, from the shipping industry point of view. And the third one uh, is the Middle East. And that's the main reason why, particularly, UAE, United uh, Arab uh, Emirates, and in this case, Dubai. Uh, you can see Dubai in the slides, but they think that we can easily extend it to, to all the, to all the uh, Emirates. It's a very interesting region for us for several reasons. So the first one is because the maritime industry uh, it's a priority for the government here because just for example here in Dubai represents approximately 7% of the of the GDP of, of the MBA, which is quite relevant. The number two and probably one of the most important is that is because it, uh, it, it's a strategic geographical position and, and probably as you can imagine there are a lot of ship, a lot of vessels, a lot of ships here, especially tankers. So it's a very strategic location for us. And number three, because it's a very business friendly area that it's very interesting. For us to probably to establish a company, uh, a company here. Okay, I think that that's all. Thank you very much, and we'll be here.